Uh, the Invisible Fence Company, they have a, a foundation and they raise money to buy these four fire departments around the United States. And uh, they present us every two or three years with a new set of new pet uh, oxygen masks that can help maybe save a pet's life. A lot of times the uh, human ones, uh, they just blow a lot of air around their face. It doesn't actually go in the nostrils and that long muzzle. Uh, little dogs like pugs or something maybe more apt for a human type of face mask, but dogs with big muzzles, uh, it doesn't work quite as well. Cats can kind of get away with a pediatric size too, uh, human mask and stuff. So we've used those before. They've worked good, but these are a lot more effective. We. Uh, we got nine mask uh, sorted sizes and they'll be on each of our medic rigs at each of our fire stations. So in the event of house fires where we may come upon an a, uh, animal in distress, respiratory distress, we can try giving them O2 and helping revive them and getting them back to a uh, normal shape. We don't have any of the resources or training or medicines required. Only a vet's office uh, would have something like that to help a pet in a dire situation like that.